Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today you can see I have these drawings and as you can guess, um well you probably can't guess it. I'm making a series where I make my own fan made Pokemon and this is the starter. I haven't come up with a good name with him, but you can like come up for a name for this little guy. I like him. He's a grass starter. Um, I gave him, like, a little leaf cape and made him, like, a little superhero, like, like, when he's a kid, he's, like, superheroes and all that. And I made it, like, multi-colors, like, a lot of colors you wouldn't see in, like, a grass type. I don't think grass types really have to have, like, vines or anything growing out of them. I like to give him, like, that little leaf, like, little leaf make sure that he is a grass type yeah he's based on a poisonous frog it's kind of an iconic frog you know the one that has that orange that blue yeah it's an iconic frog so going in for our second starters is this guy this is more going into the poisonous toad because as it goes into a frog a little baby frog it grows up to be a little toad now this toad, it's outgrown its little cape, and now it's like tightening his neck. So when he grows up, yeah, it's going to break and snap, and it's going to do this. Now it's like tongue's a little hand, because the tongue's going to be a hand that's going to play a big part of his evolution. So as you can see, he has, the theme has changed, but not so much. He is basically like a goth, gothic going through an emo phase. He the colors have changed. You see the blue and the orange have has darkening. It's darker. It holds this little leaf thing that you see in swamps. And the pattern on his belly has changed. And also the little spots. He never had spots, but now he does. And now this is showing how he's poisonous and Yeah, this is it. Please come up with a name for him. I'm pretty sure you could have a really cool name. Now, all of you at home, you know who these guys are. These, like, custom-made. I made them all by myself. Oh, uh, just ignore that warning. Oh, this device is just... This, not device, <laughs> stupid. But this is really cool. I like this form. I really like the emo, awkward middle stages. And this is what I'm going to do with it. Now for the final evolution, he has grown up to be a big toad. You know, you know how this has grown up to be like, it's this little guy, this guy, and this guy. And ooh, what's that in like the corner? But I'm not going to tell you until I finish with this guy. Yeah, I don't know what his name should be. He's obviously a toad and the little leaf cape snapped. There's like a tree branch and he has trees. And he has a shield. Mushroom shield. That's gonna play in part later. You're gonna see what, how that, like, is important to him. And he's like in a Spider-Man pose. I just realized I drew him in a Spider-Man pose. But it, it kind of suits him, and he's cool. I like how he has both the colors of this guy and him, like, try to be smushed in. But I like how he's, like, his own thing, too. Like, these two need to have similarities but the final evolution has to be a different species that with a lot of the first stages um there like a lot of its unique things now please come up with a name for him i i don't know what to do with it and i don't know what it should name him but now let's go to the final thing they're gigantamax forms you see I do two of them because, um, just because. I, I didn't draw them both. I just, like, pasted it out. But just because there was too much empty space for one guy. So as you can see, this guy's now a big toad with a little tree forest growing on his, like, torso. And as you can see, I put the tongue thing. The reason I put a tongue hand here is because, like, it was going to come and play. Like, look. He's like this tongue thing, and it goes all the way up. 
And the Mushroom Shield, I didn't really like it on the Final Evolution. This Mushroom Shield, I don't like it. Because it's not on his, like, left side of his arm. But right here. Yeah, it's on his shoulders. And I really liked how that looked, so I kept it on the second evo the third evolution. So, um, as you can see, the gi Gigantamax clouds are down here. Now, I took inspiration from the snake Gigantamax, how it, like, how it, like, wrapped around, all the snake thing is wrapped around and all that cool stuff. And, yeah, I also took inspiration from, uh, I forgot, yeah, Corviknight, like, the Gigantamax Corviknight. You can see I got the colors from them, and the cloud is on his tongue because that's really unique. I like it, and just, I just, all, all in all, I love this Gigantamax. I love Gigantamaxes because, like, you can be as, like, unique and goofy as you can, as in, like, Mega Evolutions don't let you step that extra boundary. So, comment down below. What what is the third evolution's name? Should I call him Gigantamax? What should be his name? Toadax? No. Lift Toad? No. But Poison Toad? No, Poison Toad. That's actually good. But no, please name him. I need suggestions for these guys. They need names. And please like and subscribe. Comment down below, and I'm sure as heck gonna start a series when I make my own Pokemon evolu- not evolutions, my own Pokemon region. This is Grass Starter, and this is Yasir Zarita, signing off. Bye.